I'm back on the mound just in time for playoffs. I'll be getting ready by pitching against my own teammates, getting a new glove, and motivating the boys with a speech. Because we're already starting with a really weird disadvantage. How do I explain this? But more on that later. First, it's time for day one of practice. Today is my first day back practicing with the team since my injury. All the boys are here. Live BP tomorrow, and then the 12th, the day after that, we travel to Hiroshima to get ready for the playoffs. 12 inning? Okay. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. Oh, squat. Okay. Oh, I heard it at Hanshin when I gave up a two run homer to tie the game in the eighth. I was standing on the mound like this. The stadium got so loud. And I was like, oh, I feel it finally. Ow. Ow. Okay, that one didn't hurt. Just in case I got to, you know, switch in the middle of the game. Somehow my right arm is debilitated, but I can still throw lefty. Lob it up there, 41. I started doing it just to balance out the, like, T-spine rotation. Good day catch. Body feels good. Hips are rotating really well. Eyes are staying locked on the target. Of course, the rotation's good. Ha! Ah! Only, only hat. <laughs> no, no road hat. All right, check this out. We got a couple new gloves in. This one is uh, from Rico. From what I know about this brand, it's an American brand that has now licensed gloves to be sold in Japan. Don't know much more about that, but this glove is sick. Okay, so it's blue on blue with the Japanese uh, flag. This is basically like a like a baseball freak. I think it translates to baseball lunatic, but it's like someone who's crazy about baseball. Anyway, number 96, Bauer, California flag on uh, on that side, as well as the uh, state of California. And we got two swords on the web. Pretty darn cool. Fits my hand really well and like super squeezable and could play catch with it. Might use it today. Might try it out. The other one we got is from Wagyu. Only one made just for you. The glove they made me before with the gold laces that I couldn't use in the game. They felt bad about sending me that one that I couldn't use. So they made this one that I could use. Let's Oh, okay. We have a refreshing watermelon glove, green and pink. So we got this uh, neon pink Wagyu JB logo right here. Typical, you know, sword logo right there. Pretty sick. Let's see how it fits. Let's see. Is this a, this is a two fingers in the pinky. So similar, same exact design as the uh, green and gold one that they sent me. Closes nice and easy. This one's actually stiff, stiff through here. Not as bendable as some of them, but it's super bendable, you know, through here. I like that actually. I like the feel of this one. So I got a couple gloves that I have to try out as well as like eight other gloves that I've had all year that I still haven't gotten around to trying out because I got injured. So maybe we'll do like a massive glove review. Today is my last day to prepare before a playoff game. So here's to hoping for bad command, lots of hits so the hitters can be confident. And I waste all my bad command so I have good command for next game. Five innings, 100 pitches. Here we go. <laughs> Okay. After perfectly executing the have bad command strategy, I almost got hit in the face for the third consecutive outing. Many line drives up the middle. No good. Unbelievable. Every session coming from my head. Oh, Maki, I got, I got to get, I got to get this guy out. I didn't actually want to get him out though. So I threw him a homer pitch, but he didn't swing, which was unfortunate. He ended up grounding into a double play. Kinda. What are we calling that? Hit? Out? Double play? Out at first? Man on second? Brand new glove. It's caught like two balls in its life. Otherwise, that's a double play. All right, one out, man on second. Now, if the goal is to give up hits, I executed this at bat perfectly. Get behind in the count, throw a sweeper for a strike, and then throw a cutter right down the middle. Single? Run scores? I would hope that's an out in the game, but man on first, one run. Here. Now, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Play that first pitch again. Look how much that sweeper moved. Even I have to admire it sometimes. <laughs> when it's moving like that, not many people in the world are going to be able to hit it. It's hard to pull the trigger on, and when you do, you get fruit ninja. Yep, sword. Go. Change, you go. Change? Yep. Was that two outs? Two, no, three. three? Uh, no double, humble. Oh, double play? Koki said only one out, okay. We change. Thoughts after the first inning. I uh, didn't get ahead in the count a single time. That's terrible. Now, ignoring the first pitch, this at bat is a master class in tunneling. Some of you might wonder why he takes a 2-0 fastball down the middle. Well, the pitch before it looked just like it. And it was a ball. Here's those two pitches overlaid on top of each other. Look how closely it matches the fastball before it. Incredible job by the hitter to take that pitch. Now it's 3-1 and I need a strike. And we get a foul ball. Take a peek at that fastball versus the split right before it though. Same exact tunnel. It's no surprise he missed the fastball. I tried to go back to the split, hit the same tunnel, and got a foul ball. 
And after that, I was absolutely positive that if I threw a sweeper that started in the same tunnel, he would swing and miss. And somehow, he took it. Sometimes the hitter is just better than you. Now, after being 0-5 on first pitch strikes, I was getting pretty mad at myself. But I finally broke the streak and got ahead in the count. Unfortunately, that didn't last long at all. My bad, Trey. Yeah, sorry again, Trey. All right, I gotta change something here. What the fuck is going on? After that, my competitive side came out. Apparently that's what I needed because I started throwing harder, throwing more first pitch strikes, and getting better results. Except for that one. But single. ultimately, I got out of the inning. Probably a single. Maybe at my second baseman. Hopefully at my second baseman, but a hard hit ball. The third inning didn't start off much better. Ball one, ball two. A failed sack bunt turned into a walk, which is one of the worst things you can ever do as a pitcher. If the hitter hands you a free out, take it. Every single time. Just take the out. So now I was downright mad, but apparently I learned a good lesson. Fucking throw the ball in the zone and you get fucking swings and strikes. We got out, double play, hit, what is that? Single? That'd be fuck. Maki, you think single? Single? Uh, okay, if that's a single, base is loaded, nobody out. Now, facing your catcher as a hitter is always fun and tricky. And clearly, Ito is having fun with it too. I think this was actually a hit, but it got called a double play. Double play, hit, what do we got? Runner on second, two outs. So that brought Trey back to the plate, and all I could think about was how sore his arm must be. The at-bat started off well, but then my command went to crap. Thankfully, he hit the ball hard right at one of my ghost fielders. Out? Out. Okay. This is so fucking aggravating. Cannot throw a strike to save my life. Shit's just everywhere, my command's terrible. Two innings left before postseason start, and this is fucking terrible. But my performance today has been horse shit. Yep, I was not feeling good about myself at all. But then things started turning around a bit. Maki grounded out to second. Out. Maybe we're starting to lock it in here. I got ahead of Trey, and then he put up a really good at bat. Okay. Good foul. He fouled out some tough pitches, but ultimately I threw him one of the best splits of the day and I got the K. There we go. Alright, that's an aggressive. I got a quick like third this. out to retire the side and things started feeling normal again. Yep, there we go. Alright, that was a much better inning. It's pretty similar to uh, normal games for me. It takes a while to lock it in, and then about the fourth or fifth, I start commanding the ball and actually doing well. So hopefully we carry that into the fifth. There we go. With a little bit of renewed confidence, I decided to whip out a trick I learned from Yamamoto at the All-Star game. The wind-up slide step. Got him with the slide step trickery. Like it. The next at bat was the best of the day. A perfect example of a cutter and a splitter tunneling perfectly. Yes. Check out those last two pitches on top of each other. Beautiful. Now you've all heard me during live ABs when I'm in content mode, but these next two at bats are the most accurate depiction of how I am in competition mode. Here we it's go. a bit different. Fuck! Bounce the ball. God damn it. It's a good at bat though, but fucking terrible on my part. Fuck. Why am I falling off so much? Go to the plate. Oh my god. Fuck. 90 pH, Dino. Two more. Two more. Okay. And costing myself a win. Out though? <laughs> right at the second base. <laughs> to end the session, I decided to throw as hard as I could for two more hitters. <laughs> this one resulted in a fly ball to right. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright! Hey! Alto? How, how, many, how many pitches? 93? 90. Who, who wants it? And this last at bat gives you a good look at how my pitches move when I'm really at 100% intensity. Oh, that was a really good pitch. Probably moved too much for him to swing. 
Overall, it was a really frustrating session, but that forced me to compete, which was exactly what I needed. Well, I have a bloody nose right now. It's been bleeding off and on all day, and we're about to hop on a helicopter ride, a sunset tour over Tokyo. It'll be my first time on a helicopter. The sky's already like cotton candy. It's gonna be a good sunset. Chalupa, have you been on a helicopter before? I have. Are you excited? Yeah. I see helicopters are uh, also reversed. The driver's on the oh, opposite yeah. side here. In the United States, it's on the other, oh, yeah. on the other side, yeah. You are most driving on position for clear and ancient star. It's kind of trippy because I'm scared of heights and we're just kind of like really, really high up right now. Oh, we got Disneyland over here? The biggest river in Tokyo. So it feels like New York, but it's probably like LA. Okay. We're literally getting to see Tokyo light up. I've had the changes from daylight to, to night, and the city's like just lighting up. Tokyo makes, I feel like, New York City look tiny. I think Tokyo's the biggest city in the world, besides maybe one in, there, there might be one in China that's bigger, but I think Tokyo's the biggest city in the world. Playoffs are here finally. Well, not quite. Uh, today is the day before playoffs. Uh, in Japan, there's two leagues, Pacific and Central. There's six teams in each league. Three of them make playoffs. Team three and team two play each other in a three game series. That series is held at the home field of the second place team. Then the winner of that series plays the first place team at the home field of the first place team, all the games. But the first place team also starts off with a one nothing lead. So it's technically a seven game series because you have to win four games, but it's only six games. It's actually kind of cool. The home team, uh, makes all the money. The visiting team gets no revenue from ticket sales or anything like that. Huge incentive for the teams to win the league uh, from a financial perspective, from an ease of making it to the final series perspective. Also a little disadvantage though, because they have to wait for like three weeks uh, in between final game of the season and playoffs. A little different than the, uh, than the American system. Hey, do they do this every game? Play catch right here? I've never seen this before. First time for everything. You guys can't get that? Yeah, I did. Oh, you got it? Kamicha couldn't get it? Looks pretty short. Can't touch? Can't touch? Oh, yes. You touch? Yes, yes, yeah. easy, easy. Oh, okay. I feel like I could touch. Oh, yeah, easy. Magic shoes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I pulled my quad in my hammy. Day of game one. Uh, it doesn't feel like playoffs very much though. In the States, at least what I'm used to, there'd be a lot of media attention coming along with playoffs. Like yesterday during team workouts, we would have had like a 20 or 30 minute media session. There'd be media in the clubhouse, cameras everywhere. I didn't do any interviews yesterday. Maybe there were people that got asked questions and it just wasn't me, I don't know. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Normally there's a lot of stuff kind of going on around the city. Fans getting excited, t-shirts being sold. None of that that I've seen today anyway. Maybe I just wasn't in the right parts of town. It's a one o'clock game. We haven't played any one o'clock games all year. The earliest we've played is two o'clock. Maybe this is what Japanese playoffs feel like. Um, and it's just my first time here. <laughs> um, I'm not allowed to be in the dugout because I'm not on the Octave roster today. Missed that part of it for sure. But um, got a bullpen. One thing, Kogi. Um, if you're feeling like nervous or excited, anything like that, that's normal for playoffs but it's not gonna affect you when you get on the mound. You don't have to do anything that we haven't done all year. Just do what we can control. Be good at what you're good at. Oh, so I go! <laughs> all right, goals for the bullpen today. Number one, keep it short. Don't want to overdo it. Number two, throw out high intent. Make sure my command is good to go. Number three, don't get hurt. 12 or 15 pitches, something like that. Call it good. So we went like 23 pitches. A couple more than I wanted, but uh, it was good. Pitches were all sharp. Mechanics felt good. Command was a lot better at higher intent. Feel like I'm in a good spot now. Have the boys play well, so we get to Monday. Hopefully we win both games and I don't pitch Monday. I pitch Wednesday, first game against Tigers. See that? That's rain scheduled for uh, game time. 50% chance of rain, basically the entire game. And that's the worst possible thing that could happen for us. Hey, good shirt. Thank you. <laughs> now, let me explain. In the States, if a game gets rained out in the postseason, it just gets pushed to the next day. This little guy's got a Bauer outage hat and a Live by the sword shirt on. I love it. Here, it just gets canceled and it counts as no game. How do I explain this? Come with This is a three game series. The carp 
who we're playing, our opponent is the second seed, which means if we tie the series, we would just lose, which means we would have to win two of two if today's game gets rained out. Now that's a good way of favoring the team that finishes higher in the league. I kind of like the format, to be honest. We lost a playoff game yesterday in 11 innings, 3-2. to two. Took a 2 nothing lead in the 6th, I think. Carp executed really well and ultimately won it in the 11th. It was supposed to be sunny today, but as you can see, the guy's not looking too favorable. And if it rains today, I think that eliminates us. Today could be the last day of the season, which is an odd thing to think about, actually. You know, you play for like six months and then one day you show up and it's just like, oh, this could be like the last day. Like tomorrow, we just may not come to the field and the season's over. Doesn't feel like the end of the season. Play a nice game of catch, shag some BP, sign for the fans. Have a good time at the field. Does it feel like today could be last day of season? Not really, right? No, not really. Stop looking at us, carp. You're the enemy. My body feels way too good today. It's not, I'm not liking it. If I feel good today, I'm gonna feel like shit tomorrow. It's a great honor to uh, be chosen as a person to start that game. All the pressure, I want all the high, you know, the highest stakes against the best team. That's what I play baseball for. So, uh, where would, would you see today's game? I'll be, I'll be in the clubhouse watching it. Yesterday, you had a comment in the pitchers' meeting. Uh, why did you decide to talk in front of the pitchers? I think it's important that. The people who have playoff experience share some of their playoff experience. I have a good amount of playoff experience in, in the United States. And I think for pitchers, you can you, a lot of guys can kind of succumb to the pressure or the nerves. It's important to hear that like you don't have to do anything more than what you're capable of doing. Once the game starts, it's just baseball. There's a vending machine over there. Are you interested in like checking out those vending machines? Uh, not today. I need to eat well. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing for me, you know, if it's the last time I get to talk to you guys this year, thank you for all the, the coverage, all the questions, and appreciate everything. Well, guys, I was uh, I was hoping to pitch today, uh, but unfortunately, we lost yesterday. 4-2 in nine innings. We went 0-2 in the playoffs, and we are eliminated, which means it is time to head back to Yokohama, figure out what to do next. I've seen a lot of uh, <laughs> articles written already, people saying that I want to sign with the team with a DH. Don't know where they got that from, honestly. <laughs> uh, I've never said that. I wanted to send a message to all the fans that have watched the vlog all year, all the fans of DNA, all the Japanese baseball fans, NPD fans. Appreciate everyone's support. You guys have been great. We had a really fun year. The energy, everything has been electric. Something that I would love to experience again. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Not sure exactly where I'm going to go from here or what I'm going to do. I got to figure that out. Tough end of the season, but thank you guys all so much for a great year.